Hey guys, this is Simon with Trade and Perform Coaching and ToughTrader.com. Wanted to do a, a quick video on today's um, ES and NQ price action and how you could have figured out <clears throat> why we weren't right, why we weren't having an open drive higher, and how the mar you might have figured out that the market was going to roll to the downside, right? So let's jump in really quick before I get started. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And uh, let's see, this is for educational purposes only. Number one rule of trading, right? Don't blow up, guys. Losing, There's nothing cool about losing the money you worked hard for. The objective is just to make money, stack chips, keep, keep your profits over an extended period of time. Okay, let's jump into the video really quick here. <clears throat> so the first clue this morning when we opened up, so this is the New York Stock Exchange tick down here, right? So A, we opened up into a white zone number one to start the day but that doesn't mean we couldn't have had a trend day up right number one you can see we ended up with a green bar and this is what's called the naked volume point of control it's simply the high the most volume that was done yesterday during the regular trading session right <clears throat> and you can see this is the first five minutes of the market we opened up now normally if we have a white zone which is an area I consider because I make the charts that is a significant support resistance area and B there's a naked volume point of control in there I'm usually going to be hammering that every single time to the short side. But at the very tippy top of the markets, I'm not so eager to do that. So that becomes that white zone becomes an upside target and an area for me to know, hey, unless we get above that area, I don't want to take a trade long in that in that location. The second thing that told us it was not an open drive higher was that the tick, see the tick right here, it opened up at a positive 600. Usually the NYSE tick when we trend day up, usually, not always, is over positive 800. So that was the next thing that told us, hey, take a step back. That wasn't going to be a trend day up, right? And that we, we're going to look for counter rotations down to find potential long areas at white zones or at bull bear lines, one of the two, right? And then number three, you can see while ES was pushing up, NQ was pushing down. And while that's not by itself awful, right? Because NQ and ES have been a little bit detached. <clears throat> it's not helping the case at all right so if we push forward here a little bit what you'll see is we pushed up and immediately you see within 15 minutes there first of all NQ is pushing down up and you'll see I was doing a little something in the rim there and you can see that we so what basically happened is we gapped we pushed right into the white zone and remember these zones are posted the evening before for members right push up into the white zone into the naked volume point of control I'm not taking a short I'm sure some of the members in the room did it's too aggressive for me. I like pullbacks. Uh, even if I'm going to get short, I want to see a significant rotation lower, right? And <clears throat> I know that I have my support area down here on NQ at 6063, and there's a bull bear line sitting um, right here at, at uh, 2549. Um, excuse me, 2549. Um, where is that? Let's fast forward because we ran right into it. Here we go. Ah, there it is, right there. 2544 I knew it would appear in, in the screen so you see the zone here 2549 to 2551 that also landed Globex high ended up landing here that was the all-time high last week's high we had the naked volume point of control we gapped up into it right and reject straight out of it now this is my goal for if I'm going to take a long this is my goal on ES and I did take one very brief long uh, from 2544 right and then on NQ I'm starting to think hey if ES can roll down maybe NQ can roll down and what we ended up doing is waiting for NQ to roll lower and then come back into I want to say it was uh, 60 70 60 76 ended up being our location looking for a short and it was a little bit later in the morning it was about 10 30 a.m. so watch how the market develops see how ES and NQ are not matching up but look how right so look here when you're you're over here the the disadvantage of the newer trader has or an inexperienced trader has is that they don't know how to look from those few first few bars and go hey do we have a good chance of driving higher in which case I should jump jump in long right you'll see a lot of people as a matter of fact I got into a protracted argument with someone this morning about well you should know context and you should know that open drives higher are easy to catch well I can tell you many open drives without this in additional information start off looking like this right where you just get a solid you get a gap up and a solid green bar so you need the additional information to quickly be able to dis determine hey am I if I'm gonna catch that trend day up do I take this long and what is that what does that all look like right so 
now you have more information, right? And this is the whole point of being being in the mentor room, of having uh, the additional knowledge so that you make a good decision. Okay, yeah, the bar's solid green right out of the gate. NQ is not really pushing very hard um, out of the gate. And the tick's only 519. It only opened up at positive 6, 650, not over 800. I know, hey, I probably have a pretty good chance of pushing in. I certainly don't need a chase at this point. Then as I progress through the day, if I do want to get long, right, now look how nicely the white zone, so see right here, you're not even there. You're, you're already pre-planning your trade location, right? This is Globex low. This is the white zone, bull bear line. Um, it was too small of a range on Friday to pit in a, a full zone, so it was simply a bull bear line. And this is my target on NQ, right, for long. And watch as the day comes down. We pop right into that white zone, right? You can see we responded directly right off the tick, right? Look at tick. Even though tick is coming down, it hasn't gotten that negative. We consolidate. We rotate around. So I'm still not short NQ yet. It's towards 1030. You can see that ES is really not responding up or down. It's not bullish or bearish at this point. It's pretty typical holiday trading. And as we're pushing up here, <clears throat> now see that right there? Now I want that push into 76. And you're going to see we tag it right there. That was the 76 tag. And you can see we then proceed. So you see where I'm drawing, right? So see these drawing, these the little circles that appear. Let's see if I can capture it here real quick right there. It goes by so quickly it's hard for me to freeze the screen. But what I'm pointing out is that, what I'm pointing out is that, look, as long as it doesn't get above 6080 from the 6076, which is pretty tight stuff, right? You have a good chance of rolling back my immediate target down with 6073, right? And then if you get lucky, it extend down to 6063, right? So that's a 10 to 13 point trade potentially. That's over $200 a contract. That's a good trade, right? So now watch how the rest of the trade plays out here. You're going to see as we move along. Oh, uh, you know what? I ended the video. I apologize. I, cut, I edited the video and I cut it off. But we eventually roll right into 6063. ES does push underneath the 2544, backside tests it, and then rolls down for the day. So what have we learned here? that's actionable that you can take out of your trading. I think the most important thing comes all the way back to the open. How do I tell if it's going to be, what are some of the clues for open drive higher? Tick didn't open up at over 800 on the NYSC tick. Make sure you have a good tick reading, not an aggregated one, depending on the brokerage firm you're using, right? NQ wasn't participating. We had a naked volume point of control, and we had a very good uh, resistance point. All of that combined, right, told you, hey, you don't necessarily need to go short here, but you certainly can wait to go long, right? Because even if you're going to go long, you want to see it clear above 2551 to get the rotation higher. And now you know as it pushes down, right, you end up not getting smoked in what ended up being a gap fill right into great location for a long, right? And then eventually it was holiday trading, and the market gave us um, both good long and short opportunities on both ends. You had to be very patient in this holiday trading to make that work, but... That 6076 was definitely my best trade of the day in terms of trade location and getting a nice opportunity. And notice, I didn't have to make any of those decisions off the open, and I didn't have to chase up and get smoked on the rotation down. All very helpful. Anyways, this is Simon. Quick eight-minute video. Um, hope this helped you learn. Remember, don't blow up. Stack chips. That's the entire purpose of this. Y'all have a good night. I'll be back in the room tomorrow morning, guys. See y'all later.